tune-up. Inoue said, I don't have the mental strength to take tune-ups. I need maximum motivation. And standing across the ring, he has that tonight in the hungry underdog of Marlon Tapales, who's also a two-belt champion at Super Bantamweight. We're underway in our main event from the Ariaki Arena in Tokyo, Japan. Karen Batia on the call, joined by Jamel Herring. This is the undisputed Super Bantamweight Championship. Naoya Inoue in the white, red, and blue trunks. Marlon Tapales in the black and white trunks. Already you see that, that hand speed on this play from, from Inoue. Right now, Tapaz is making the, um, the mistake of just sitting in front of him too long because you know he has explosive power. In any minute, he could just he could just dart out with a, with a solid two shots down the down the pipe. You saw in a way with a quick right hand, and there again, Jamel. It's not just the power; it's the speed that in a way possesses. That's what I mean. You can't just sit there and right in front of him looking at him because right just like shots like that, like I just said. Just, Two shots down the pipe. That's all he needs. Mm. There's Good a left shot. hand for Tapales that gets in. Again, I like to see Tapales, uh, you know, especially as as a softball, continue, you know, move to his keep moving to his right, and don't do that because, like I said, he he would have fell into a to a mean uppercut by lunging in like that. Just just move to your light, to your right. And stay off the, you know, stay off the line from Inoue's right hand, because that's the softball killer. Sharp right hand to the body, followed up by a left hand by Inoue. One minute to go in round one of our main event. We see a measured approach here from Tapalis. Remember, Inoue said, I hope Tapalis comes out aggressive. It excites me. That's the most dangerous part. Yeah, and he's mainly, he's known for, his, for mainly his punch output at times. You know, so that's what, that's what Inoue is probably look, looking forward to, of him getting aggressive. But again, that, that, that's probably the wrong thing Tapalis wants to do because the more aggressive you get, the more openings you create, you allow, you, you create for your opponents. So, Jamel, we could call that a surprising round one as we see Shingo Inoue, Inoue's father, Naoya's father and trainer. There's the left hand that landed yeah, for Tapalas. Nice it was an interesting game plan, right? Come out a little bit more conservative, a little bit, work on your timing a little bit. You see, you see it right there, that's what I mean. When he, when, he fell, when he fell in, though, and he got caught with that uppercut. I mean, they both, they both, they both shared, they both shared, you know, had, had, had little moments, and it was pretty much still a fill-out round. But again, I like to see Tapalas, you know, just, just use lateral movement. Don't, you don't want to sit in front of a man that has a dangerous right hand. And on top of that, you also, um, he has to, in this fight, he's going to have to pretty much guard that liver because, you know, it's another weapon that, in a way, he can use is that, um, you know, that left hook to the body. We've seen many fighters drop by body shots by the dangerous Naoya, in a way. Round two underway here. You know, yeah, just, you know, upper body movement. Little, little short steps. You don't gotta, you don't gotta exert too much, but you, you, you have to do something. You have to do something in front of a, you know, in front of your, your opponent. Even, even if it's just subtle movements, you know, feints, stepping over. But you don't, what you don't want to do is stand in front of them because, like again, we've seen them explode out with a one-two and, and, you know, end fights early with just that combination. And just like that, in a way, landed the one-two there. That was partially blocked by Tapalis, but that's what Tapalis doesn't want to have happen. There's a left hand, Is that good? that's gonna be called a slip. Be interesting to see the replay on that one. It did look like a quick left hand. 
as Inoue follows it up with a right to the body. And again, as you can see, Inoue using that reach advantage, you know, just boxing and keeping everything on the outside. Basically, he probably trying to bait him in to fall, to fall over that lead foot again and before he lets go of that right hand. You see, you see the power's reaching at times with, with, with the jab. And you see Inoue with that back foot taking a step back, almost trying to get that looping right hand, almost that uppercut to Topolis's head when he leans in. Halfway through this round two. And look at the feet. Look, look, look where Topolis's feet, feet are at. They're on the inside, and he's he's gonna he's walking straight into that right hand. He, he needs to get his foot on the outside of Inoue's and keeps turning him. And, and that way he he lines his left hand up to get a chance to get you know to get to shoot it down down the pipe on Inoue. But when he's falling in like that, he's falling into that right hand. See, he's lit. He's he, his head, his head is going right, right in the direction of that right hand. He doesn't want to do that. That's where he doesn't want to be. And, and one thing that gets forgotten a lot with Inoue, we see the highlight reel knockouts, but the defense, and you see the left hand there covering the head. He's known as, he's been called twitchy before, but in a way, it's his ability to parry, to, to disrupt punches coming towards the head. See how he fell in? Round two, similar to round one here. Nice no jab, nice no jab from Tapalis. Let's take a look at the replay here from round two. Again, he, he, he's getting closer and closer, finding his range with that right hand. But that's what I mean. When he falls in like that, he's gonna he's gonna he's gonna fall into the right hand and possibly not see it. And the ones you don't see, are the ones that are the ones that put you out. Like I say he just needs he just needs to just keep turning them, you know, so just keep turning them and turning them. And eventually try to, you know, align his left hand to get a shot down the middle and, and, and connect on Inoue. It's all about, it's all about the, the foot battle. But that right there is, is still like no, because you're just, you're just, you're just a, a sitting target. And here comes Inoue. Those punches are partially blocked, but they are backing up to Pales. And, you know, anyway, right now he's trying, he's trying to create open. He's not he's not looking for one shot. He's letting his hands go. You know, nice shot, nice shot to the body. He's, he's creating. He's trying to find. He's trying to create openings if he can. If um, Topaz won't give him one, like again, he wanted him. He was probably expecting him to come aggressive, but if he doesn't see that, you got to go to Plan B, and you know, create openings of yourself. The speed of Inouye. Nice shot, nice shot to the, the body. He brings the punch the back, pause. and then he lands one at another angle so quickly. And Jamel, to your point, it looks like in a way is, is baiting Topolis a little bit here. Ooh. Doubling and tripling up the jab is in a way. Nice jab. In a way, displaying the right hand before throwing it. Speed, foot movement. All right, you know, he's not, he's not getting a little bit more looser. Nice, nice body shot from the Palace. Palace got on the inside there and was able to land to the body. Jamel, is that left. what you'd like to see from Topalis? Get get more on the inside? Yeah, I mean, again, 
he can get there, but he's, uh, him having just a slightly shorter reach, he's gonna have to, you know, he's gonna have to box his way in. Nice, nice combination from him. And again, you wanna, you wanna keep in a way, all, you know, all, offset. You, you don't want him to get comfortable and get set, because the minute you do, he's gonna sit on those punches, and that's when the power really starts. That's when he really starts to generate power, because it all comes from the legs. But if you keep backing him up and offsetting him, you can um, you can you can um, prevent him from um, you know shooting back so shooting back at you so quickly. And some good body work in return there from Inouye. You see him having the battle of the foot, of the foot position now. See, look look where Inouye. His own foot. As long as he keeps his lead foot on the outside of Tapaz's foot, he's always going to be in range to load up, to load up on that right hand, just like that again. And that's just good technique. And knowing, and knowing you're in the ring. Both men exchange glancing blows to the body. It's been a more measured approach from Marlon Tapaz yeah. here. Mm. Good round, good round for anyway. It seems like he's, he's getting a little bit more looser in there, warming up. To... And Jamel, you're mentioning the, the battle of the footwork there. Right. And orthodox versus southpaw here. So if you are Tapalas and you're trying to get your lead foot on the outside, but anyway is preventing that, what what can you do sometimes to try you, to Sometimes you, you could take a half step back and then, and then go back to, um you know, circling. Especially if you, if you find your, your feet always getting caught up. Just take a little half step back. And then keep, you know, saying circle to your right. You see, you know, Just like that, you see, he's he. he showboating a little bit. He's been known to do that, even though he is a very humble fighter when he's in the ring. And again, you know, Tapaz has to watch out, like, keeping that high guard because he's dead. Ooh, nice uppercut. <laughs> Fights earlier, um, you know, going around the guard, and plus, you got to watch where his elbow's at. Meaning, meaning, um, you know, in a way, can take that. He can, he can start, you know, targeting under the elbows to the body. So you gotta, you gotta start watching out for that as well. That nice body shot the pause. But in a way, that high guard is like blinders. In a way, you can't yeah. see what's coming around it. And, it, and, and even, even in a way, you know, saying he put his hands up and what happened? He didn't see, the, he didn't see that shot that just broke through the guard. And that's what I mean. That body shot. You can hear that devastating body work by in a way. Ooh. Man, I feel like Tapalas is, you know, he's, he's warming up himself. Nice work from Tapalas. Like again, you want, he wants to keep backing up in a way to keep him offset. But the minute he gets like that and, let, and, and lets in a way plant his feet, he's going to generate power. And you have to give credit to Topalis. Yes, he's the underdog, but he's Thank also the yeah. champion in this division. He's not coming in like we've seen previous opponents of Inouye do and not trying to engage. <laughs> and again, I like I like I like the game plan that Topalis is doing though in terms of the body. Nice, nice right hook to the up top. He's he's going to the body that you know to probably take away some of that power up in a way, but but he has to be he has to be careful. He can, don't you don't want to get greedy. And here Ooh. comes Inouye. Two right hands to the body, left hand upstairs. In a way, making his presence known in this round four. Now you see Tapaz is marching forward. Nice body shot right in, right in between the punches. From in a way. These are hard shots by Naoya. Oh! Big left hand to the head. Here comes oh, in a way. The monster. 
Mm. Left hand, right hand, Tapolis is down. Five seconds left in this round four. Can Tapalis beat the count? He does. But Naoya in a way scores the knockdown in round four. But that's what we were talking about earlier. You know, in a way wanted him to get aggressive because he, like I said before, the more aggressive you get, the more the more chances you you create openings for your opponent to counter and punch in between the shots. And that's exactly what we see in that last round. He was trying to fight fire with fire, got aggressive, opened up. Didn't see the shot with the high guard. Came around the guard, put him down. So that's, that's a very tough task though for Topolis because if he's more aggressive, he's opening himself up to yeah. Indian's yeah. attack. But you don't want to end up, for example, in the same fight that Paul Butler fought right. that way in where you're tentative and no. then you get you, the, you end up getting dropped. The thing in is yeah. he can he can box with them. You know, he can box with them. He just gotta, you know, he he's gotta watch it. He has his block when he places his shots. And, and, and being that high guard hasn't helped him because, again, Inouye's going to come around the guard and hit you on, under the elbows and everything. And Inouye starting Just like that. Five, the way he ended round four. Mm. Devastating shots downstairs, then upstairs. And standing in front of him monster. is not going to help. Standing in front of him is not going to help him. All you're doing is being, becoming a punching bag and a sitting target. That's a scary Harry's getting pieced up. Against Naoya Inouye. Right hand gets through the guard. Another right hand. Mm, nice Big uppercut. uppercut for Woo, nice counter from Tapales, though. Another huge body shot. Tell you, he has to protect that body. Because pretty soon, the hands are going to drop, and he's going to come right back up top. And Tapales is a warrior, all-out warrior. He's taking this punishment, and he's coming right back, landing body shots, going to the head. Oh, it's cool. Backing up yeah, it's cool to be a warrior, but you, you got to be smart in there, too. Nice counter. Nice counter from Inouye. Mm, that was nice. That was nice from Tapales. Tapales lands a sneaky. Oh, another one. And another one. <laughs> Here comes Marlon <laughs> Tapales. Ooh. Man. Yeah. Back and forth, one of the most competitive rounds of the fight so far. Nice. Both men exchanging right hands to the head. Oh. Big uppercut by Inouye. I like what Tapaz is doing at times, but when he throws his shots, he just stands right in front of him, and Inouye comes right back, and that time's a harder shot. So. He needs to like, he needs to get in and just take a step over. You can tell those body shots are affecting Tapalas. He motions to the oh. right. right hand gets <laughs> in a way. The counter. And again, just standing in front of him. He got he needs to keep he, he, he needs to do something. Faint, turn, something. It's not where you want to be if you're Marlon Tapalas. Oh nice that I love that upper cover Tapalas though, because it's breaking the guard up anyway. Nice, yes, I mean, get yours and go. Head movement, get under the shots and everything. But don't just stand, don't just stand in front of them after you throw your shots, or just walk in straight to it with your hands up. Incredible action in this round five. No matter what happens in this fight. Marlon Tapales has shown that he's going to fight fire with fire. He's going to go toe to toe with the monster. Jamel, you, you talked about you like some of the things Tapales is doing. So what do you want to see? I mean, see now, he's, doing, he's, doing, he's doing a lot of good things. He's doing a lot of good things in here in terms of um, you know, his combination punches and his, and his, and his pl punch placement. Is that he needs to he needs to um he can't just admire his work. He has to get out of the you know out of the fire. Because that's what he does a lot. He'll throw shots and then he'll just stand there. 
and then he'll allow in, you know in a way to shoot right back at him. See that? You see that shot was good because it looked like it was going because it was going to be a body shot, but then he. He just has to be smart with his defense. Round six. Round six underway at this undisputed Super Bantamweight Championship. Naoya Inoue in the white, red, and blue trunks. Marlon Tapales in the black and white. Karanbati on the call, joined by Jamel Herring. The Ariaki Arena in Tokyo, Japan, is playing host to this matchup. You, and, you, and you can hear, you can hear Tapales' team jab to the body. Jab, nice, nice left hand from Tapales. Tapales has in a way backed up now. Ooh! And you hear him, as you hear him saying the corners, they don't like, he don't like the body. Tapales, go to the body. So again, like I said, he's doing a lot of good things. I just like to see what it's like to see him tighten his defense. Good jab from Tapales. You'd like to see Tapales tighten the defense and step out of the way. Yeah, get out the way. Ooh, I know a lot of those are boxed, but you can hear you can you just hear that you can hear just the pop on them on the end of those shots from anywhere. Now, anyway, as you can see right now, he's, he's setting up traps because he knows Tapaz is being aggressive, so he's taking that he's taking that step back and he's trying to get him catching coming, you know, catch him coming in. Halfway through this round six, Inoue said he hoped Tapaz would be aggressive. That that would excite Inoue at that prospect. And, and Jamel, you're explaining why mm. that's going to give Inoue openings. Again, right now, I would like to see the pilots, you know, starting to move, uh, they get, they get start lateral movement, keep turning. The pilots abandoned movement shortly and took two to three right hands upstairs. But it's like I said earlier, if you know, oh, he got caught. It's coming out with his hands down. But it's like I said earlier, though, to pot, whenever he pay, pretty much offsets in a way and keeps backing him up, that's when he finds success. When he just stands in front of him and, and tries to go toe-to-toe, -to -toe, that's when he, that's when he um, runs the risk of opening up, getting caught with something big. And there is something big from the monster. Buried attack downstairs, upstairs. He back, and he got to keep backing him up, though. You hear Topolis' corner there say, let your hands go. That's what anyway, that's what anyway wants. He wants him, he wants him to do that. Oh. Huge right hand for anyway. To close out round six. Uh -huh. And another quick combination landed there for the, at the end of the round. But you see, he fell in. Inoue. He fell in. He fell, he fell into Inoue's range on the inside of that foot. And he got caught. The geography is a huge part of this fight, you know. The foot placement, the range. And let's take a look at, at some of the replays from the last round. Lined up and look. Lined up to that right hand. Just standing there watching him. That's, that's good defense from, from the Pilots, though. A lot of those shots are blocked. But again, you know, he he's going he's going to try to eventually slip one of those into the, the guard. And it's like again, when you think you may have a good guard, that's when he that's when he breaks it and hits you right on the chin. But the Pilots, he's he's in this fight. He's in he's definitely in this fight though. Halfway through our undisputed super bantamweight championship. In a way, did score the knockdown in round four. But Jamel, as we've been saying, Marlon Tapales is having his moments, but you're looking yes. for some in-fight adjustments here. A nice jab. It's nice, good jab. But again, like, I like what he's doing now. You got you to keep backing the monster up. Put that in the glove. Ooh. Huge left and right hand get through for In a way. Let's go. 
Again, it's a Tyler, Tyler, he's he's fighting, fighting, yeah, yeah, he's yeah, he's, he's having his moments. Again, nice, nice. Nice lead jab there. Surprised in a way. Even, yeah, in a way, even, even impressed him. He gave him his, he gave him his prop. Nice defense, nice. And later to shoot back from Topalis. And that time you saw Topalis use the lead shoulder to he roll it. Past yeah, he rolled his punches. He just, he's stepping over. That battle of that front foot, it's so common when an orthodox fighter fights a southpaw. Now, in a way, you know, he finds himself reaching. Good jab again with the Tapalis. And one of those adjustments you asked for, Jamel, is being done there. Marlon Tapalis, he doesn't have the high guard with both hands. That right hand is a little bit lower. And I, and I believe you were calling for that because you don't want him to block his own view from punches coming at you. And even, him. yeah, and from that, from that, he can see, he probably can see the punches coming at him a lot better than when he had the high guard in his face blinding him. Even now, he's getting in and out. Now, anyway, he's going to have to probably make some adjustments of his own now. But he's he see, he see, he seen that he can't get to him with that right hand. So he's probably going to have to, you know, step. You know, he can't just look for one or two shots. And you see, Tapaz is catching the shots with that, with that, with that left, with his left hand now. And he's rolling. He's, you see, he's turning. And he's, ha and he's having moments. He's probably been winning. He's been winning. Got caught, though, but. The third was the most powerful. It definitely got. Tapalis with a nice left hand to close out round seven. And Jamel, we, we saw Tapalis having success there, especially at the end of the round. We see him making in-fight adjustments yeah. with his defense. Is he doing enough in your mind to win some of these rounds? I mean, I, I, he's probably, he's probably, he's probably still down, of course. But I think, I definitely think he pulled, he probably won that round. And that's probably one of his best rounds. But now, like, you know, to, to but respect to him, he, he's, he's, he's found an adjustment that's actually working. He got, you know, what I mean, he's not, he's not taking a lot of flush shots repeatedly as he was early in the fight. And again, you know, like well, anyway, he he has to um, be, you know, continue being aggressive and shooting more more than one or two shots because that, that's what he's waiting. That's what um the pass is waiting on now, and to roll up those shots and come back with a counter. Round eight underway. Last round, we heard referee Celestino Ruiz say to both fighters, "Watch your feet," and it's been a. It's been a battle of geography the yeah. whole night. Right? See? You know? Nice jab. Nice jab from the Your turn, Marlon. Your turn. Your turn. Show that body. Show that body. And you see now with the pause, he's got, you know, he's, he, he, he's changing levels with, 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 his, with, his, with his body, meaning that he's bending his knees. He's got the body movement. He's turning. He, the jab is finding more success. Now, you know what I'm saying? He's catching anyway, falling at times. And when he does, you know, he, he, he has that free hand. Let it go. See, you hear Sean Gibbs saying, <laughs> that hand's free, let it go. Oh. He has to be careful on the inside because you don't want to get greedy and, and forget about your defense because that's when you get hit in between the shots. You, you, you don't see it coming. But he even he even has in a way you know he's thinking he's thinking more. It's more of a chess match now. It's not. It, it was it, early in the fight. It was a it was a, coming a slugfest. That's what you want to see in an undisputed fight. Two fighters making in-fight adjustments, and Marlon Tapalas has been able to find nice some success here in the middle rounds. 
And he's found he's finalized the sets when he catches in a way, you know, backing out. Because that's what I mentioned earlier. I feel like you have to keep you have to keep the monster on off his, on, on the on the back foot. But when when, he, when he's coming forward, that's when he's really dangerous. And if you sit in front of him, he's gonna let it, he's gonna let his hands go. Nice from Topolis again. That left hand got in there from Topolis. And again. It's also, Jamel, you mentioned Topalis lowering that right lead hand. It also allows a different angle for him to throw the jab that yeah. way may not be expected. No, like, like I said, he'll dip, but he'll shoot the jab upward. You know, and, and it'll catch, it'll catch um, an only on guard. Nice. Big right hand there for Inouye. He threw, he threw the shot where he felt like where he felt that where um, Tapaz was going to be at. He knows that though he's going to dip, so he threw it right down there and caught him, and caught him on the mark. Nice counter from the Inouye. Way, Jamel, what you're saying is in round eight, Inoue started to make adjustments to Topolis's adjustments. Yeah, he started he started to throw his shots where he where he felt that he was gonna be at after after you know, Topolis started, you know, through his own combination punches. Credit to Zapalas, though. He's, he's definitely doing a lot more than what most probably expected him to do, even, even this late into the fight. But he's a champion, so you got you to give him that respect. He's a champion. Round nine underway, and that's exactly what we hoped for and expected from Tapalis, even though he has two bats, Ooh. came in as an underdog, has shocked the world before. I mean, you see this, I see, you see the small adjustment from Inouye, like, he's doubling up that right hand. See, again, he's doubling up that right hand. Because Tapalis, he probably thinks Tapalis thinks he's gonna stop that one right hand and he'll double up. Nice one, too. Shot from Tapalis. The left hand got through for Tapalis. Nice, nice combination. And right now, this distance, this pace, right, is working for Tapalis. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that's where the monster is dangerous at when he, when he starts moving forward. So, in a way, does that. Gotta back him up, keep backing him up, and keep turning. Right now he's lined, he's lined up to, to, to in a way his own right hand. See, he just got caught. He got lined up. Got to keep turning him. And there you see Tapal is getting on his right foot on the outside of in his lead foot. But he has, but he has, to, watch, I know, he has to watch it. Because he, he, when he shoots that jab forward, he still he shoots right. He, he falls right on the inside of um, in his feet. Like Sean Lee here, Sean Gibbons saying, you gotta back him up. But when you sit there like that, you you always get you always get pieced up all, all night. Especially when you have the monster landing one two. Some of these are getting through the guard, and there's some good body work. We have to give Marlon Tapala's credit. Not only heart of a warrior, heart of a champion, but also yeah. investing to that body, and he's been going to that all night. Jab into Paulus. Paulus goes back to that high guard.
Two jabs and one big right hand for Inoue at the close of round nine. Good body shot from Inoue under, under those elbows. You notice, you notice whenever Tapaz goes back to the, the, the peekaboo stance, that you know that that automatic gives in a way the the okay to basically let his hands go. And you see, I mean, he to develop that right hand. Nice shot right there from the Palace. Good counter, good counter hook from the Palace there at the end as well. But every time the Paz goes, to, goes into that peekaboo stance and puts his, both his hands up, that's when NOA just starts shooting off his punches. That was a great round for Tapalas. He did a lot of things right. Now, Jamel, he made an interesting adjustment. We've seen him have success with keeping that lead hand down, but halfway through that round, he puts that hand back up. Why do you think he did that? I don't know. He probably, he probably felt comfortable thinking he probably just felt that, you know, again, you see, you see the replay where he did, get, he did get cracked with the right hand, so he probably felt that he needed to put both his hands up, but again, he can't see anything. And every time he does that, in a, little, in a way, he starts to let his hands go. Good lead left hand. Round 10 from the Ariaki Arena in Tokyo, Japan. Undisputed super bantamweight crown on the line. In a way, certainly having success. But Marlon Tapales showing that he belongs in this ring. He belongs with an opportunity for himself to become undisputed making in-fight adjustments at times frustrating in a way and you know you notice at times when he puts his hands up like that in a way would throw a shot and then hook oh big right hand there backed up to palez and can he beat the count he's not gonna make nope. it up naoya in a way makes history the legend of the monster continues to grow. Inoue becomes only the second man to be undisputed in multiple weight divisions in the modern era. History made here in Tokyo. And I'll tell you what happened. Like he thought he thought he had he thought he was defensive, had his both his hands up, and anyway broke right through the guard and hit him right on the chin. But when he was when he was changing levels and he you know he was staying low up and down up and down, he was actually he was actually protecting himself a lot more better than that. Again, when you put your hands up at times, sometimes you can just become a, a punch bag and fighters are gonna just let their hands go. And that's exactly what he did. Incredible achievement for Naoya in a way. Historically great. A champion in four different weight divisions and now can say he's undisputed. Was undisputed at bantamweight, now undisputed at super bantamweight. This is rarefied air for Naoya in a way. And we have to give credit to Marlon Tapales. He fought a measured game plan early. He made adjustments, but at the end of the day, the monster was just too much, you know. Oh, absolutely. But again, like I said, give him credit. He stepped up to the plate. Um, most probably wouldn't even think he would have done as good as he did tonight. That big right hand for in a way. A referee in charge, Celestino Ruiz, reaches the count of 10. Disputed Super Panamweight Champion of the World, Nahoya, the monster in The monster etches his name in boxing legend. Historically great. It was only 377 days ago that he became an undisputed champion at bantamweight. Earlier this year, he moved up, challenged himself to 122 pounds, got two belts, and now Naoya Inoue, the monster, is the undisputed champion at Super Bantamweight.
And Jamel, it, it was a tough fight for Inoue, but he was able to get the knockdown in round four, get the eventual stoppage win. The way he's been going about this, just collecting belts, right. now becoming undisputed, it, it's not supposed to be that easy unless you're that good. No, uh, I mean, in a way, is that good. He worked, he worked, no, he, he worked though. He worked, he worked for it. Because, like, again, Tapaz was, wasn't, he wasn't that easy tonight, you know, he, but he, in a way, he he worked for it, so I could give give him his credit on that. Like, it wasn't handed to him, you know. Tapaz did; he, he came to fight. And again, like I said, it, it shots like that, even though it was on the, it was on the glove, but you see, just how hard he hit, you knew he was going to break. He was going to break through the guard and, and start touching that chin, just like that. He, he thought he had his hands up, and he thought he was protected. Sat on that right hand, and that's incredible. Both of those right hands were partially blocked. Yeah. By Tapalas. In a way, still got the knockout. And that's a testament to In power. One thing interesting there, Jamel, we were talking about the success Tapalas had when not having the high guard. He had the high guard there when he was mm -hmm. knocked out. So, in a way, he either wasn't seeing that punch fully or it was just affecting him in a different way. Oh, he thought he, th and he probably thought he was going to get the way. Marlon Tapalas showed amazing heart tonight. But the night belongs to the monster Naoya in a way. Undisputed, rarefied air. In men's boxing, he joins Terence Crawford as the only other fighter to be undisputed in two weight divisions in the modern four belt era. And the special thing about in a way that he did here tonight. He did this in historically quick fashion. A little over a year it took him. And, and this goes back to what we talked about earlier at the beginning of the fight. Inoue said, I don't have the mental strength to take a tune-up. I need maximum motivation. And he's had maximum motivation by facing the champions in every division, even as he moves up.